Here are three synthesis problems that go over reductive amination. For, for question one, draw this structure or create this structure from structures containing four carbons or less in benzene. For this one, four carbons or less. And for this one, four carbons or less or benzene. Okay, so give those a try, pause the video if you want. Otherwise, let's go through number one. So for number one, this is actually how you make meth, by the way, because this is the structure of methamphetamine. But the first thing you should do is look for the functional group. Now we have benzene. We can't really mess around with benzene yet, but we can mess around with this. We see a carbon single bonded to a nitrogen, and so this is your hint to say, okay, we need to do reductive elimination, or sorry, reductive amination. So what I want to do is I want to break this carbon-nitrogen bond. So what I'm going to say over the arrow is one, the nitrogen and whatever is attached to it coming off. So I want to erase this bond. That means this should be the nitrogen that's coming off. So I have a nitrogen with one methyl on it. And now I just need to make sure that's neutral by adding some hydrogens. I need two hydrogens for that nitrogen to be neutral. And then step two, I need the reducing agent, the LiBH3Cn or the NaBH3Cn. And that will give me, now the benzene's untouched, but I chopped that nitrogen off, and on the carbon it was attached to, should now be a double bond O. And now this is just some old orgo one synthesis, except for the benzene part. But let's just number our carbon so we can keep track. So we'll say the carbon on the benzene is one, two, three, four. And here we have one, two, three, and four. So we know that we can't cut when we have a double bond O if the arrow is pointing at the double bond O. So we have to turn this double bond O back into an OH. So we need to have this. Now I can turn an OH into a C double bond O by using PCC. Now I'm able to cut. So I'm going to get some practice in with epoxide cutting this time. So we know if we wanted to do the alkyl lithium reaction, I could label this A and B and just cut between A and B. But there's a faster way to cut because you can use an epoxide, which cuts two carbons off. What you do is you label A, you label B, and then you label one further, C. The epoxide method allows you to cut between B and C. So I'm going to draw my dotted line there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my arrow. Over my arrow, I'm going to write step two H plus. I'm going to draw my, my whole thing again, exactly the same starting out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the bond between B and C. Carbon B will now be single bonded to the oxygen that is connected to A and erase the hydrogen. So there's my epoxide, my three-membered ring with an oxygen, excuse me, an oxygen in it. And then on the carbon that didn't have, uh, that, on carbon C, I draw a lithium. And then this is benzene. So now I just have to turn this into benzene, which is the only reaction that puts lithium onto anything is lithium over the arrow. And what that does is it replaces a, a, lithium, a bromine with a lithium. So now there's a bromine in the place. And finally, how do we add bromine to benzene? With Br2, Fe, Br3. And that'll bring me back to the benzene. So that's how you do number one. Number two, we have to synthesize a six-membered ring, one, two, three, four, five, six, with a carbon and a NH2 coming off of it. All right, so once again, we see a carbon that is single bonded to a nitrogen, so I'm thinking reductive amination. So I'm going to look at the carbon and the single bond to the nitrogen. I'm going to erase that carbon-nitrogen bond. I'm going to say, well, what does the nitrogen look like if I do that? So I'm going to erase that. It would be NH2, just the nitrogen by itself. So I'd write step one, NH2. Now, if it's just NH2, does that nitrogen have three bonds to be neutral? No, it only has two, so you add one more hydrogen so it's neutral. So NH3, and then step two, you're going to do your reductive and your, your reducing agent, so either LiBH3Cn or NaBH3Cn. And what, this, what does this go back to? Well, the carbon that the nitrogen was attached to by that single bond, that red dotted carbon over there, will now have a C double bond O on it. So I would have this. Now notice something. I have a six-membered ring with a withdrawing group sticking off of it. Hmm. What kind of reactions make six-member rings where you need a withdrawing group sticking off of it? Diels-Alder. 
But there's one other thing that you need for any deals all their product, right? You need a carbon-carbon double bond. So we need to get a carbon-carbon double bond somewhere in here. How do we do that? Well, what reaction going to this would get rid of a carbon-carbon double bond? The reaction would be H2PDC, because that's the reaction that turns double bonds into single bonds. So I just need to draw my six-member ring, my withdrawing group sticking off of that. And now I need to put a carbon-carbon double bond somewhere in this ring. Now where's the best spot? Remember your withdrawing group always has to be on your dienophiles. So let's say this is carbon five and six. Well, if I do that, then this must be four, three, two, and one. And we say the double bond in the product of your deals all, there should always be between three and two. So that must be where my double bond is. Now I can just split things apart. What you put over the arrow to do a deals all there is heat. And now I just have to erase the bonds that are typically made from a deals alder reaction. So start by just redrawing everything. We have a six member ring. We have our withdrawing group. We have our double bond, and let's number these colors in red, uh, number these carbons in red. Five, six, one, two, three, and four. So what are the bonds that are made? Well, we said five and six for the dienophile, and we know that's only supposed to be two carbons at least for the part that contributes to the six member ring, which means four, three, two, and one are part of the diene, which means the bond that I made is between four and five and one and six. So I'm gonna erase those bonds. Now, where should the double bonds be? The double bonds in the reactants of, of the deals all the reaction, there are three of them. One is on your diene file between five and six. One is between three and four, and a third is between two and one. So these would be the two pieces that come together in a deals alder reaction by using heat to give you this six-member ring. And now I have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So I have four carbons or less, and that's how you do number two. Number three, we needed to make this structure from uh, structures containing four carbons or less and benzene. So once again, we're going to start with our reductive amination because I see a nitrogen single bonded to carbons. Now, since this is symmetric, I can choose the left or the right side. It doesn't really matter which. I have I'm going to do the left side. So this is my carbon that's attached to the nitrogen. So when I split this apart, I have a decently large thing coming off of this, right? Because I'd have this carbon. I'd be erasing this bond, and so this would be an NH2, this would be one piece, and this would be the other with a C double bond O. So I'm going to put the C double bond O ring over the arrow. So we have that. Drawing it kind of small just so I, have, I can fit it. Hopefully it's visible on the camera. And then step two would still be my NABH3CN or my LIBH3CN. And that would leave me with NH2 and then 1, 2 and the benzene. So this isn't, we said four carbons less than benzene. This isn't just benzene, so we'll have to make this in a later step. But for now, let's work on this. How can we add a carbon with a nitrogen to benzene? Well, this comes back to the reactions that involve exam three's additions to benzene. We saw that you can add a C triple bond N to a benzene through that NO2 to NH2 to N2 positive route. And then we have a way of turning C triple bond N into NH2, or C single bond NH2. And the way we do that is with a reducing agent, either LiAlH4 or H2 with catalyst. I'll use LiAlH4. And keep in mind, LiAlH4 is not the same thing as LiBH3CN. They are very different reactions. This is very particular to carbon-nitrogen double bonds and carbon-nitrogen triple bonds. You don't really see it anywhere else. In fact, you mostly see this with just the reductive amination reactions. And so LiAlH4, what I'm going to go backwards to is this carbon over here will now be in a triple bond with the nitrogen. So I have the benzene, I have C triple bond N, so nitrogen will be neutral because it has three bonds, no more hydrogens. Now I need the reaction that adds C triple bond N to the benzene. Well that would be CUCN, and what this goes back to is the benzene ring with N2 plus on it. So what makes NO2, what, what makes N2 positive? H-O-N-O, -O, or you could use N-A-N-O-2 with HCl, because what that does is it makes HONO. Either way, what that does is it turns an NH2 into an N2 positive. So 
over my now on my ring in the place of the N2 positive, I have NH2. And how do I get NH2 on the ring? I get that from NO2, which is something we can actually add to benzene. So going backwards one step further, I need to turn NH2 into NO2. And the way you turn NO2 into NH2 is either you can use LiAlH4, a good reducing agent, you could use H2 catalyst, or you could use um, that Fe, HCl, and OH minus reaction. I'm just going to use LiAlH4. Now I have NO2 on the benzene ring, which means I'm almost done with this. The way you add NO2 to a benzene ring is by using HNO3 with H2SO4. Okay? So that's how I get this piece, but I still have to show how I made this uh, from a benzene. So let's redraw that down here. Now, the easy way of getting a carbon ion onto a benzene is using that friedel crafts uh, acylation reaction where you have the carbon ion with a Cl on it, and you have AlCl3 under the arrow. But for practice's sake, I'm going to, uh, I want to practice with the alkylithium cutting method instead. So if I want to cut using an alkyl lithium, I need that carbonyl to be an OH. How do I turn in, oh, that's not right. I want that carbonyl to be an OH. So how do I turn this OH into a C double bond O? You use PCC, the weak oxidizing agent. Now that I have that, I can start cutting. So label the carbon with your OH, A, the next of the carbon a single bond away, B, you're going to cut the bond between A and B. So over your arrow, you're going to write step two, H plus. You're going to draw your benzene ring. So the carbon that didn't have the OH, carbon B, gets a lithium on it. The carbon that does have the OH becomes C double bond O. You erase the hydrogen and you make it C double bond O. So carbon A is right here. Okay, so these are the two pieces that come together with step 2 H plus to make this. So this is good, that's, two carb that's four carbons or less, but this isn't benzene yet. So how do we make, how do we get lithium onto a benzene ring? Well, there's only one thing that adds lithium in any reaction that we've talked about, and that's just lithium over the arrow. So you put lithium over the arrow, and what does that replace? It replaces a bromine. So now I have bromine on a benzene, and we know how to get that on, but we know how to get bromine on benzene very easily. You take your benzene and you react it with Br2 with FeBr3. And, there, and now you've synthesized that other part. And so that's how you would synthesize number three.